a young YouTube star becomes the target of public shaming after she says an ex posted a sex tape online that she had no idea was ever recorded. The scary reality of revenge porn and how Chrissy Chambers says it happened to her and now is fighting back and hoping to inspire others along the way. Here's Nightline anchor Juju Chang with the story. We are Bria and Chrissy. She's one half of the YouTube sensation Bria and Chrissy. It's Valentine's Day. It's those uplifting songs and messages of LGBT empowerment. Pride is about being comfortable in your own skin. Garners a following of hundreds of thousands. But it was a different kind of attention that suddenly spun Chrissy Chambers' world out of control. My world came crashing down. When one day she started getting disturbing messages like these from her young followers. Take responsibility for your own sex video. Another dumb slut who got what she deserved. This woman is a clown and a hypocrite. She's a slut. She had no idea what was happening. It was single-handedly probably one of the hardest moments of my life. I literally just collapsed on the floor. Turns out there was a sex tape of her with her ex-boyfriend out on the internet. I found out after Googling myself, it was just a horrific pain. Not only in shock that it was made public, but that it existed at all, because she says she has no memory of making the video. I saw these links and then clicked on this video and realized that I'd been assaulted because I was uh, unconscious when the, the videos were filmed. At just 18 years old, Chrissy says her ex-boyfriend secretly taped himself having sex with her while she was passed out and drunk. Then allegedly releasing the video three years ago. She calls it an online attack. Someone was posting on our channel um, links to the videos to our fans to be hit with a baseball bat that this person you cared about so much could betray you in such an intense way. It was horrific. ABC News made repeated attempts to reach out to her alleged offender, but never heard back. Chrissy says she is one of many victims of revenge porn, a form of non-consensual porn, the distribution of sexually graphic images without consent. It could be a rape video that's gone viral or, or pictures that were originally created and distributed within the, the context of an intimate relationship. There's estimated to be more than 2,000 sites dedicated to revenge pornography worldwide, often jilted exes posting intimate photos or videos at a former lover's expense. It's a cyber threat that's difficult to track and even harder to prosecute. It's really, really hard to, to get law enforcers to, to take complaints seriously and to get prosecutors and judges to, to also see these cases through the end. Carrie Goldberg is an internet privacy and sexual consent attorney. She says 80% of her cases are related to revenge porn. When clients contact me, they are in the middle of a tornado. They think that for the rest of their life, they're always going to be exposed on the internet. What kind of emotional damage can revenge porn have? It's often very humiliating. They can feel paranoid, depressed. Um, constantly checking the web to find out how many people know about the video. For Chrissy, the road to justice has already been long and tough, complicated in part because she says her alleged offender posted the footage in the UK, forcing her to file the suit overseas. It was like stumbling in the dark, but they would say, you know, I, oh, I'm so sorry that this happened to you, but we, we can't help. We didn't so. sleep on the plane, mm -hmm. so. Theirs is a journey that Chrissy and her girlfriend Bria have chronicled on their YouTube channel. I was a victim of revenge porn, but this is what we've been going through for two years now. And um, obviously you've known we're going through a hard time and you just didn't know quite what it was. This just moments after she gives her police report, Chrissy speaks with a Guardian reporter, Jenny Kleeman. It was grueling. What they have now is not enough is just not enough and it's ruining people's lives. I'm going to fight and continue to fight to, of course, not let it ruin mine. <laughs> England and Wales have a revenge porn law on the books, but it does not apply to Chrissy's case because her alleged assault happened before that law was in place. Her legal team plans to bring a civil lawsuit against Chrissy's alleged offender which, while an option in the U.S., would be the first of its kind in England. Is fighting for your rights 
just a way of sort of re-traumatizing yourself. If you are going to bring it up publicly, bring up the situation, people are going to get curious. You're keeping the story in the news. So you almost have to be prepared for that and think about what your goal is. Chrissy says the trauma surrounding her alleged cyber assault impacts every aspect of her life. You feel like you don't have any control. Control over my, my own body, my own image. It just, it, it was so damaging in so many ways. And with a public career built around sharing her life through videos with her fans, it was those viewer comments that cut so deep. We heard from some of our subscribers, you know, I've been watching you for a while, but I can't respect somebody who would do this or someone who is a slut and a whore. It broke our hearts every time we read something like that. But there are also the notes of hope. No one deserves to feel this helpless in a case like this. I can't begin to imagine how horrible that must have been for you or the pain you must have gone through. It's just incredible how, like, we have seen the darkest side of the internet, but we've also seen the most beautiful side of the internet. Yeah. Spurred on by other advocates, the fight against revenge porn has come a long way in recent years, with 27 states and the District of Columbia passing specific criminal laws to protect against it. Activist groups like the Cyber Civil Rights Initiative working for victims with online resources, legal support, and even a crisis helpline. It's a safe, anonymous place to call. And everybody needs a place when they're in crisis to go uh, to speak to somebody who's knowledgeable, who doesn't judge them, who helps them to restore their sense of self-esteem. And beyond the legal battlefield, technology companies like Google and Microsoft offering tools for users who wish to de-link or remove images they claim to be revenge porn. Hi, my name is Chrissy, and when I was 18... Chrissy uses her YouTube perch as a platform to encourage reform. Most victims of revenge porn, also known as non-consensual pornography, are attacked, shamed, and silenced to the point that they don't come forward to seek justice. And that has to change. And that quest for change has also led her to formally petition for a federal law to criminalize revenge porn. Just knowing that I went through with it and I was public about it, I just hope that that gives strength to other individuals who this has happened to. We all need to do our part to be civilized online just as we are offline. And just because we can be anonymous and cloak our identity, it's not an excuse to be evil. We put out a song that we wrote last year as a form of therapy for us. It was called Can't Break Me. And the whole song was basically my message to my ex and what I would say to him. That you can't break me. Using that remarkable voice is a source of power for Chrissy, one she hopes will inspire others. He wanted to ruin me and he wanted to hurt me. And he succeeded in that, but he couldn't silence me forever. Alive, alive. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in New York.